Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an install on the Players Ranger, but first we need to go give this thing a bath. So I've already got most of it off of here, but when you're cleaning these rangers, uh, this part of the bed is, is a real pain because of all this honeycomb. All the water and mud and everything wants to blow back at you, but I've got a fix for this coming up later on this video. We're going to make this whole area a whole lot easier to clean. All right, guys, as you can see, the Ranger's all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish detailing this thing so the uh, plastic and everything looks like new and the mud will come off easier next time and then we'll get to the install. All right, the uh, products that we're going to be installing today came from Mudbusters, made in the USA. Uh, it's going to be a set of fender flares and a mud guard that's going to go under the bed on the driver's side to cover up that honeycomb area. So that should help that area stay a whole lot cleaner or a lot easier to clean. Let's take a look and see what has what's all in here. I got everything laid out. I got this box come with it also. It's going to be basically a bunch of uh, the plastic pop rivets and the uh, screws for the bedside panel. So that's the bedside panel. These two and these short ones are for the rear fender flares, and these two over here are for the front fender flares. Now this kit does come with instructions. They do recommend a 2164 drill bit because there's gonna be several holes we're gonna have to drill to put new uh, pop rivets in. But there's installations for the, the bed mud panel and installation instructions for the fender flares for the front and for the rear. So we're gonna get started on the front and I'll show you what we're doing.
Okay, so the first thing I did was gathered my drill with a 21 64 drill bit. Uh, I got a set of push pin pliers for the plastic rivets and I separated all the hardware. Got nuts, washers, bolts, and all the plastic rivets. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is there's three of these plastic pop rivets right up here. We're gonna have to get those out. Now the factory pop rivets versus the pop rivets they send you, they are a little bit longer, so I would recommend use the hardware that they send with the product. Okay, so I push the pop rivets through just to help line me up. And these pop rivets are snug. They are designed to be snug. The next step per the instructions, this line here should line up with the factory seam. So we'll get that lined up, get three holes drilled, and include and uh, insert these pop rivets. These two holes will also drill out. Those two will end up getting a bolt on the inside. That'll actually come through the floorboard in here, or the, the backing behind the floorboard. And we'll put a washer and lock nut on the backside. I do recommend starting up here and work your way down. So these two holes right here that we're going to have to drill, those are going to be a quarter inch. I'm going to have to turn the wheels so I can get my drill in here and we'll get those drilled. So those two holes we drilled come right through here and it'll take a flat bolt that will poke through here and put a washer and nut on the inside. Now the bolt, the flat-headed Allen bolt, that is a 532nd Allen's, and the nylon lock nut is a 716th. Bolt goes through, then the washer, then the lock nut. So as you can see, the bolts on the inside, they don't protrude, they're not in the way. So here's a view of the Mudbuster front fender flare. Let me get a tape measure and I'll show you how much it sticks out. Okay, so down here towards the bottom, which this does go in just a little bit, but from the outside of the body, it is right at an inch and three quarter. I know that's kind of hard to see. And the top, right at an inch and a half. All right, that's how you install the front fender flare. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one installed off camera, and then we'll move to the back. Okay, now we move on to the rear. First thing the instructions say to do is open the dump bed and remove this screw right up here, which is a Torx a T30. Okay, once it's removed, you've got the rear fender. It's got this little 
notch right here so you can move the fender in and out to get the alignment that you want. So we'll put this back in finger tight. Okay, now that that is finger tight, we're going to go ahead and close the bed back. Just to kind of get an idea to make sure everything's going to fit. We do have the lower fenders for the rear. I just want to make sure we kind of get everything lined up the way it's going to be lined up. Just to match this bottom fender. Because you can go out, add her in with it. It looks like the rear, yeah, the rear is going to be good as long as we're lined up. As long as we're lined up with this surface, it'll, it'll match up perfect with the lower fender. Okay, so I've got my 2164 drill bit back in. I'm going to line this up flush. And I'm going to go ahead and get my hole drilled right up here at the top. And we'll start here and work our way down. Double check again the alignment with this lower fender flare. And it looks good. Okay. And the rear. I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of line it up on the inside of this bed rail. But Start from one end, work our way down to the other. Okay, so the rear upper fender flare is installed. It's pretty simple. Next, we're going to work on the lower rear fender flare. I'll show you how to get that installed next. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, Mudbusters has provided a discount code for my viewers, uh, $15 off. So if you're in the market for fender flares or the dump bed mud protecting panel that goes underneath, uh, use the discount code RUSTYXPMB. I'll put a link to their website and, a li and the uh, discount code in the description box below. The rear fender flare, I did go ahead and close the bed just to make sure everything stays lined up. You've got these little cutouts that's gonna fit right into here and then fit right over the top. So same process as before, we'll take our 2164 drill bit and drill five holes and put the popper rivets in and fender flares are done on the rear. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top. Make sure everything's lined up where I want it. Get a fiber of it, put them out. Okay, one down, four to go.
Last step's gonna be in, uh, tightening up that screw that we removed earlier. The screw head was a little small for the slot that was provided. Uh, so I went ahead and got a flat washer to put over it just to help hold everything secure. fender flare and the upper rear fender flare are installed. Uh, same as before, I'm going to go ahead and get the other side put together. These stick out from this inner angle about three inches. So from the body line, it looks like it's going to be about two inches past. Same with up here. About an inch and a half past. So should get some good uh, mud coverage. Uh, protection from these. Okay, and on the driver's side, fix and do the lower fender flare, the lower rear. I know this looks like it's all part of the gas tank, but this is just a cover. The gas tank's actually up in there, so you're not gonna hurt anything drilling into this cover. Okay, all the fender flares are installed. The rear uppers and lowers on the fronts, wasn't hard at all. Next thing we're gonna install is the dump bed protector. Uh, kinda looking forward to this the most. This is going to cover up all that honeycomb that's below the bed that gets packed full of mud. Uh, that's kind of a pain sometimes to wash out. This is going to prevent that. So let's get it installed. Okay, now that the dump bed's installed, we're going to put this panel up in here. And there's all these little spots molded into the plastic that's got a hole in it. So same screws as what we used in the front. That's what we're going to use to secure this. Now the instructions do say to use a drill on its low setting and cut all them threads. So installing this, it does say to be sure and poke the plastic above this wiring harness down here at the bottom. And then we gotta bend it out and poke it up underneath that bed stop right there. It's nice and flat. Let me show you down here towards the bottom. It's got these little cutouts down here. Pokes up in behind this wiring harness. So I'm gonna get my screw gun and get all these screws put in. We've got two down towards the bottom. All these ain't tight. I'm going to take an Allen wrench and tighten them once I get them all in.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the install. I'll put links to their website and the products that we used in the video today down in the description box below. Don't forget, if you want to order a set of these or the bed protector, uh, don't forget to use code RUSTYXPMB for $15 off from mudbusters.com. So anyways, if you found the information helpful, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.